Good morning and welcome to the James. If you'd like to move a little closer, um, you can come up a little bit closer. We are so excited to welcome you to St. James Church and School as we celebrate our groundbreaking in many years of planning, commitment, and prayer. From the children in our school to the parishioners in our church, each of you have so much to be excited about. A distinguished front entrance, beautiful new classrooms, an elevator bringing accessibility from the parking lot to the church and school, an enhanced music wing, ADA compliant bathrooms, upgraded flower space and sacristy. This construction marks the first time since 1967 that St. James has made significant changes to our building and we could not be more thrilled to get it started. Those of you who are sharing this moment with us know how special this day is. You're here today because of the generosity of many, but we would be remiss not to acknowledge Tom Moore, whose bequest to St. James provided the lead donation to our Connected Capital campaign. This gift led the way to more than 200 other donations to the campaign, actually surpassing our goal showing the entire community the importance of what St. James does here seven days a week here in the town of Warrington. It shows that we are all connected. We are honored to have Marie Moore here with us today. <laughs> Marie has shared that she knows Tom would be pleased that his bequest is being used to renovate our church and build the new wing for the school. Tom's life was one of service to others something we instill in our students at St. James and something we strive for daily as parishioners of our church. I'd also like to welcome Penny Dart, the chair of our executive campaign committee. Her leadership helped to guide us through both the silent and public phase of our campaign and we appreciate her dedication and commitment to this project. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> Bill Floor has been a part of the building and design almost from the start. As senior warden, and luckily for us, a local architect, Bill has been integral in the steps taking, taken moving forward from master planning to design and build. He heads our Connected Building Committee, and his expertise, along with the other members of our committee, have allowed us to be prudent in our decision making and have provided us valuable cost savings for the construction and renovation. Thank you, Bill. We'd also like to welcome our current Senior Warden, George Berguin, and School Board cha Chair, Jill Hodgson. Thanks to each of you for your continued leadership for both the church and the school. And finally, we are happy to welcome Bishop Gulick here today to officiate, to officiate, officiate our service. We are extremely lucky that the bishop and his wife, Barbara, make Fauquier County their home, and we thank him for his participation today in this ceremony. Welcome to each of you, and thank you for being here to celebrate this momentous occasion. First, we're going to sing. So I invite everybody to stand up as we're going to sing a song that our children know very, very well. So let us let the children lead us. <laughs> Thanks. us to live in love and unity with one another. Have mercy on us. God, the blessed and glorious Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God of creativity, knowledge, and wisdom, guide St. James Episcopal Church and School 
on the bold new adventure to which you have set us. Continue to stir us not only to build in your name, but to ensure that your peace, your grace, and your love abound. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Deuteronomy. You shall put these words of mine in your head and soul and heart, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and fix them as an emblem on your forehead. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members of one another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, and the compassionate in cheerfulness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are blessed to have our mayor, Powell Duggan, with us. who will say a few words. Thank you, Powell. Thank you, Doug. We are very fortunate that Warrington is a community of churches, civic groups, of volunteers. And over the years, St. James has been a leading force in this regard. In the book of James, it's written, Faith without works is dead. To St. James, the works are alive. During this active faith, St. James touches many areas of our community, be they educational, food and shelter, which I call us here, <laughs> of health, and of course the spiritual needs of our community. And in doing this, it just takes a many programs. Just to, let me talk first about the school, because that's a major outreach of the church and the community. Many lives have been touched since the preschool was started at St. James, and it's developed leaders for our community, good citizens, presently and in the future, and it's been a real blessing to, to St. James to change the lives. So that, that is a wonderful outreach. Also, St. James and the community has been very involved in things such as Head Start, the Virginia Preschool Initiative, the Food Drive, the Food Bank, Habitat for Humanity, and the Stevens Ministry, just to name some. And besides these specific things, individual members of St. James are seen throughout our community, on boards, participating as volunteers, so it's more than just a church. So it's my honor today, on behalf of the town and the town council, I think the council here, to celebrate this new addition to St. James. And it's an addition to the campus, it's also an addition to St. James' life and ministry. Again, I wish to congratulate you and Stacy and everyone on this, this wonderful occasion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I invite you to pray with us, responding, hear our prayer. Most loving God, whose Son is our chief cornerstone, our sure foundation, make us ever mindful of our mission, of your teachings, and our identity in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you for all that has enabled this moment to celebrate, we celebrate today. 
the over 200 years of faithful ministry, the 35 years of excellence in early education, the many who trusted your vision for this place, the countless volunteers and professionals who worked tirelessly toward that end, and the over 200 households who gave of their treasure. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Watch over the construction and protect all who will work toward the completion of your school. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May your spirit billow through the hallways and classrooms and guide our work and the careful nurture of your children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The generations of children may find their eyes open to the beauty and majesty of all your creation. Lord, in your mercy, Together we say, <clears throat> Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Since faithful people desire to build a school wing dedicated to the glory of God on this ground, now marked with the symbol of Christ. May prayers and praises be offered. May your grace be experienced in this place from generation to generation. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, you are pleased to dwell in the midst of your people. Accept and bless the work which, you, which we have now begun that it may be brought to completion to the honor and glory of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. the service, I just want to take a moment uh, to take you back in time over five years ago before the Mosses ever stepped foot here at St. James. Uh, people shared a vision and they followed that vision. So I want to thank uh, all of those first group of folks that uh, began to realize the, the potential of the school, that began to realize the need for more space and began to actively pursue that. 
Uh, from there, uh, several joined in our master planning uh, committee that worked to envision uh, what the church and the school collectively needed. Uh, and that began our dream that we're following today. Uh, from there, our campaign building committee, who have uh, taken where our expertise uh, certainly falls short and helped us to, to make shrewd decisions uh, for the welfare of the church and the school. Uh, we also have uh, a tremendous number of people to thank for our fundraising. Not only the over 200 people that gave, but the executive campaign committee, the campaign steering committee. Uh, I think we'd be remiss not to thank Hallie Barbeau, who was an incredible gift to all of us. Uh, the focus group that helped us with our fundraising, uh, and so many members of the uh, school and church staff that took on extra jobs uh, during this season. Uh, we thank them uh, uh, tremendously. And it wasn't just the uh, fundraising, it was also the financing. And uh, we owe a debt of gratitude to the diocese that walked us through the, pr the process of, of approval uh, through George uh, and all of his tireless work uh, to secure our financing. Uh, and we also celebrate that we're getting ready to build. And I uh, thank the wonderful and talented people that we've been blessed to work with and will continue to work with. Uh, Kearns Group Architects, uh, Whitner and Jackson, our contractor, who's been fantastic. Uh, Carson Land Consultants for all of their tireless work. Uh, for the town of Warrington, uh, who has been uh, uh, very receptive and, and, and an open ear whenever we had comments or questions and guided us through the process, uh, to uh, incredible numbers of people who have volunteered their professional services and skills, uh, and for all those, our neighbors, and all of those who have invested in St. James uh, through prayer, through support, uh, through uh, uh, asking us, uh, when are you going to get started? Uh, it has taken uh, an incredible village to make this happen uh, and to get us from here to the completion of the project. And uh, we are, our hearts are full with gratitude for all of you. Thank you. The reason we have Christian schools is that we will raise people to be a blessing to the world. And I'm wondering if all of you can help me bless everybody now. Can, can you stand up to school, all of you? And let's practice. Let's practice how we bless. We make an invisible cross in the air. We go like this. Watch me. Down. And then a cross. Just like the cross, okay? And when I do that in just a minute, will you do it with me so we can bless the world? Okay. Go forth to your homes in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Honor all persons. Love and serve our Lord. We love everybody. And get ready. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And so before you go in peace, please join us for cake and a continued celebration. Thank you all for being here.